All right, my name is Tariq Albert. I just got back from the gym and I've decided that I want to run a marathon. For those who don't know, a marathon is a 26 mile foot race or about 42 kilometers for the rest of the world that is in America. Weightlifting has been my primary focus throughout my whole fitness journey and never once have I thought of running to be a fun idea. Until now, growing up, I was a chunky kid. I hated running. I avoided it as much as possible to the point I would even ask my friends to drop out dude. early during the pacer test with me. The Fitness Gram Pacer Test is a multi-stage aerobic capacity test that progressively gets more difficult as it continues. On your mark, get ready. Start. One of my main goals in life is to be as fit as possible. Pushing my body to the limits to see what it's truly capable of and conquering That's obstacles that once right deemed impossible. Which is exactly why I've decided to run a marathon. You only get one life and one body. So I want to make the most out of it while I'm still here. Pre-run snack. I don't even think this banana is ripe, to be honest. Fun fact, see, I didn't know this, that salmonella is not in the eggs, it's on the shell. So I cracked my egg and I didn't crack it hard enough, so I was peeling it. I was peeling the outside, I was like, yo, let me try to peel this shell. And what did I do with the eggshells? I ate them. What did he say? Yeah, I didn't know any of this information prior. So I'm just munching on these eggshells. And I did this every day for like a month. And I'm perfectly fine. All I'm saying, man, listen, man, I ain't no conspiracy theorist or anything, but don't believe everything you see because I was fucking up those eggshells. Let's go run, baby. Now I'm ready to run, baby. Oh, hey, didn't see you there. Didn't see you there. Here we are today, first day of marathon prep, training, whatever you want to call it. We're out here at 6 a.m. in the morning. It's not 6 a.m. It's nuts. It's 10 a.m. Yeah. Fit check, fit check. Day one. Day one. Day two. Day, day, two. day two mission, get get running shoes. What do you got on, dog? The Niger. Skateboard. That's gotta be. Oh, yeah. Come on, you know how those white people get you're down. Right. You're, you're <laughs> right. You run that right. game. It's the only game we got left. Actually, wait, I'm wearing Niger shoes. He is, he's not one. No, no, he's uh, just not a white man. Uh, Tony Hawk, he, he built it though. He, he did, he, he did, he did. He did. We still got the GOAT of that sport. Yeah. Come on, let us have something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're taking over now though, all right? We still got light bird. <laughs> <laughs> There's two different types of runners. <laughs> guy who just gets out there and the guy who looks like he bought everything off the man. Dude, I <laughs> yeah, dude, I can definitely see you standing in a dicks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys heard it here, day one. It's in video now, so there's there's no going back. Last night, even this morning, having these contemplations in my mind that, is this worth it? Do, do I want to do this, essentially? Is this going to cut into my, my fitness training, me getting as big as possible? And you know what I told myself? I said, fuck it. I said, fuck it. You know, I've been training for the past three, four years to gain mass, to put on muscle, obviously learning things along the way, fine-tuning my training, and I just want to add another dynamic to it so yeah i i told myself fuck it let's stop overthinking and just start and then and getting in my own head about something that i actually want to do so here we are getting it done day one not not runners not, not, runners. not runners not runners at all i used to get scared when we had to do the fitness grand pacer test in school all right i would tell my friends be like yo yo let's run 13 and drop come on just just do it with me so i don't look bad and those motherfuckers if you fucks are watching this dog you motherfuckers would say yeah we'll run 13 and we'll drop i'll run 13 and drop and you keep going just to one up me man that's where nah, the trust right. you started dog let's get to it First ever attempt at running a mile. Testing our pace. Begin. Two miles. It's nice. Two miles? This shit is way harder than what I thought it would be. First day in the books. Day one. One day? Or day, or day one? one. Choice is yours. Day one. One day! Or day one. So we ran a mile just to test our pace. 8.42, not the best, but you know, again, trail run, trail run. So we'll take it. One mile, a little more difficult than expected, but also day one. <laughs> Bro, 
Beverly Cop the running fanny pack. Here we are. We're at the bridge. We're running. Day two. Oh, run, well, run, well, day three. Yeah. Communal run two. Yes. Day three, communal run two. Because Maddie B and I ran at different times yesterday. We're going to attempt our first ever three mile run. We'll see how it goes. I'm sick. Not really. I'm just nasally Making congested. Excuses. Okay. You know what? I'm here though. I'm here. I showed up. Today I woke up and I woke up today. And guess what? I woke up today when I woke up. Amen. Put on a t-shirt. Time to run. Oh yeah. Three right there. Three on the side. Three miles, baby. Let's get to it. The run started off great. Maddie B and I were fully prepared to run three miles. The energy was there and the views were beautiful. All we had to do was get across the bridge and run back. That was until I caught a cramp halfway through the first go over. I'm on the books, cramped up, taking a little jog to disperse the cramp. We're back on it. After a brief cool down walk, it was time to get back to it and finish up the second half. Yeah, all right, I'm about to start, second mile. Technically the last mile and a half to hit three miles. Things seem to be going smooth again. We were back on track and on the mark for some decent pace until the cramp came back. Cramped up again, we'll be all right though. Skill issue, skill issue. This is where the doubts really hit hard. I started to question this whole journey. Am I really capable of running a marathon? What am I even doing this for? I am an individual who struggled with indecision primarily my whole life, honestly. And personally, I feel as if me making this decision to start marathon prep and eventually following through with running a marathon, I feel like it'll help with my indecision a lot and living in the present moment. I'm just sick and tired of not feeling alive, having to overthink every little decision, second guessing my own thoughts, my own actions, the ideas I have. I don't wanna keep living my life like that. I wanna actually take action. And a recent event just came up in my life. I was waiting for the perfect time to act upon something. I was like, oh, you know, I'm not the man I wanna be now when I'm able to, or when I get to that point in my life, then I'll act on it. And I was saying that for months. And then when I finally felt somewhat like myself, like a qualifying man, the opportunity passed and um, I felt the consequences of that. I don't want to sit here and have opportunities pass by one by one. I want to make something of myself. I want to make the most out of this life I've been given without having to second guess what's right for me. And by me making this decision to go through with marathon prep and training and yada yada everything, running a marathon, <laughs> it's helped me to feel alive in a sense. Because the same process that goes through my mind with decision making occurred while trying to make this decision to run a marathon. The negative thoughts just flooded my mind like, oh, if you decide to do this, you're not gonna put on enough muscle. You won't reach the goals you tend to reach in the fitness industry. You won't have a nice physique. You'll stunt your muscle building, yada, yada, this, that. And I silenced that. I cut that off. I told myself, no, I will not continue to get in my own way. I will not continue to have my opinion skewed by the advice of others. Because there's been times where I've gone back on my ideas after hearing what other people have told me. And in the moment, I thought of it as a good, you know, good advice, but as time progressed, I realized that that wasn't what I wanted to do and it did not favor me at all and I'm done with that I got one life man and I'm gonna live that life how I intend for it to be lived I'm gonna do all the things I want to do in this lifetime and the only thing stopping me is death I was doing this for me although it didn't go all as right. planned I was able to finish up the run and I couldn't have been happier with myself let's get back to it I can't let the negative self-talk get to me I gotta win I gotta win I will compete in the Brooklyn half marathon I will complete in the Halloween marathon and I will finish bro race there's no doubt in my mind that I can do all things I put my mind to so long as I believe in myself that's all I need that's all I need I knew even before Come I started on. marathon prep things wouldn't have been easy this was just the first roadblock of many an adversity I had to overcome but I did it Life is gonna continue throwing adversity my way, throwing me into uncomfortable situations that I have to push through and be able to overcome. Now these situations don't get easier, you just get better at handling them. Three mile run in the books, me and Maddie B. Three down. We did it. Three five, Pete. Five next week. 96 bulls, five next week. Come on now, we aiming big. I couldn't even run the full three this week, but I'm gonna still do five next week. Still wrapped it up though, that's all that matters. We set a new pace record, 754. See that shit right there? Come on now, baby. Hey, don't record me while driving, bro. What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Day in Life. <laughs> Here we are, you know, snow day. You know what they say about snow days. <laughs> you ever got stirred in a Valero before? Ooh. <laughs> I left my truck on with the keys in it. Did you actually? <laughs> yep. You're lying. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> I put Juliet on to, to Jiu Jitsu Kaisen. Ah! I put him on to Travis Scott. Yo! <laughs> You didn't even know me, bro. <laughs> I put him on to, what else? Attack on Titan. Yeah, yo, no, this is just 
blatant I, fucking lie. Maybe, maybe that, that last. I don't real know. I did put you on to 90210. What? Dude, I got a song, bro. Play it. Oh, bro. Come on, please. It's so good. I don't see you play shit, bro. Like I'm telling you, it's good. Is it hard style? It's it. It's like a. It's like Deftones esque. <laughs> Ask. Play the fucking song! It's called Scars by Noviolent. Bro, it doesn't put me on the one song besides Sick Puppies. Bro. One of us is going. One of us is going, going down. down. Got some creatine and L citrulline in this little shaker cup. Looks like cocaine. Got some zero sugar snappy. Up time. I've tried that before. It's pretty good. I put you, I put you on to that bro, shit. I put you on to life, bro. So we are ready for pull day. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, fuck you, bro! <laughs> oh, bitch, with this fucking banana. Do the intro. Chill, do the intro. Are you guys not in the back? Do the intro. I don't want to fucking do the No, no, you know, I don't need to. See, this is the thing about being present. You're you're not present when you're when you're forcing, you know, your emotions and trying to make things seem organic when they're not. Organic, That's enough yapping out of or, here. Organic <laughs> things come from when you are in a state of not thinking, in a state of flow. Bros. Bro, I swear to Socrates. <laughs> you you guys will never <laughs> That's the nicest thing anybody has ever said to me. Pretty good lift. Should be some aesthetic footage. This is on, remember? <laughs> I know it's on. I know it's on. Hell! Yo, yeah. get that fucking thing out of me. Intro, face. man, intro. Come on. All right, no. Get, get sturdy. No. Get sturdy for us. Absolutely not. Come on. Fine. Do you All hear right. that? I hear a lack of pop smoke. <laughs> I can't get sturdy. The, ca the camera's not recording. It's not recording. I promise. <laughs>